It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be talking about the equation of a circle where we're given HK, which is going to be the center of our circle, and R, which is the radius of our circle. Let's begin by fully understanding the formula for the equation of a circle. It is the quantity x subtract h squared add y subtract k squared equal to r squared. So let's understand what all of these variables represent. So on a coordinate plane, we have a circle. We're going to identify the center of the circle, which is represented by the variables h, k, h being the x coordinate of that center point and k being the y coordinate of the center point. So in this case, this would be 0, 0. It's not always 0, 0 though. So when I look at the formula, I would take my center point, whatever that ordered pair was, and I would replace the variable h with the x coordinate and the variable k with the y coordinate of the center. The other piece of information you need to write this equation is the radius, which is the line segment from any point on the circle to the center is your radius. That's the length of your radius. And that comes up here to our equation and we write it r squared. So when you write the equation, you're going to leave x and y as x and y. So it's going to be the equation of a circle in terms of x and y. Now let's clear this workspace and I want you to understand what x and y represent in this formula. And that is any point on the circle where x and y could be replaced here. So let's say you didn't know what the radius of your circle was, but you knew a point on the circle and the center you could solve for r. Let's understand that x, y could be this point, and it would make this equation true. It could also be that point, or that point, or that point. So x, y is any ordered pair on or in the circle in a coordinate plane. But we don't use that to write the formula. So when we go to write the formula, we're going to put it in this form, but we're going to have x and y. So the equation of a circle in terms of x and y. So here is a practice problem for you. A circle graphed on a coordinate plane has its center at 2, negative 4, and a radius of 4 units. I want you to create an equation of the circle, and here we're going to drag and drop a value into each box to correctly create the equation. And you're given six numerical values to pick from and place them in this box to write the equation of the circle with these traits. So here's where I would like you to pause the video, you do your best work, and then once you have your work jotted down, come back to check against mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So again, we're going to create the equation of the circle. And here is where we're filling in our work. But let's write down that equation that we went over. x subtract h squared add y subtract k squared equal to r squared. So we know the center was given to us, 2, negative 4. And if you remember from when we reviewed, the center is the ordered pair h, k. So h, when I'm looking for that here in this formula, is going to go here k is going to go there. So h is 2, so we're going to come take 2 and drag it and drop it into the h spot. Our k, our y coordinate, is negative 4, so we're going to take negative 4 and bring it over to where k goes. Now the next bit of information we need is our radius, and we're told the radius is 4 units. So we're going to come over here and take our 4 and bring it over to r, 4 squared. Now let's clear our work. So our equation is x subtract 2 squared add y subtract negative 4 squared equals 4 squared. There you have it. That is the equation of a circle when you're given the center of the circle as an ordered pair and the length of the radius. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you'll subscribe and come back soon.